Okay guys, I've gotten a couple requests lately for some uh, 10 gauge crow loads. I'm using three and a half inch federal steel hulls. These are from, I believe the 90s, cut down to uh, two and seven eighth inches. I already have the hull reprimed with a uh, Shadot CX2000 primer, resize two, and uh, we're going with 35 grains of long shot going to be a 1440 fps load you should be able to get some good range with this load uh the velocity is comparable to some steel loads which is pretty good Okay, all I'm doing here is just taking a pair of needle nose pliers and flaring out the gas seal section of a 12 gauge clay buster wad. This one is the CB0118-12. Um, I got it from Ballistic Products. Now, the PT1044 wad you would normally use with a light 10 gauge wad, or load I mean, has been out of stock for a very long time. So what I've been having to do is just substitute with a 12 gauge wad and flare the gas seal out. Been doing that for months now, absolutely no issues. It seals great inside the hull, no pattern migration. Uh, the loads seem, well actually I know they are, they are just as effective as using a regular 10 gauge wad. I'm using uh, one and a quarter ounces of lead number six birdshot. Um, I recommend using four or five shot though, uh, a little bit larger. I don't have any on hand at the moment, but I will be ordering some soon. I also recommend going to one and three eighths ounces in the uh, 10 gauge. One and a quarter ounces, I believe is the uh, traditional load, but one and three eighths ounces at 1400 FPS would be my preferred load. Okay, for an overshot card and filler and honestly just to get a little bit better of a crimp i'm using a three quarter inch bingo chip you could also use um, a nitro card a uh, fiber wad maybe uh, some felt if you have that or honestly paper towel works too just anything you got to take up a little bit of space will work just fine I didn't feel like changing my press out for the uh, 10 gauge one right now. It's set up for 12 gauge. Uh, so what I'm doing is taking the Ballistic Products 10 gauge roll crimper and the uh, primer door off the uh, press to act as a base. And I'm fold crimping with the, uh, the uh, roll crimp. Now how this works is I'm just taking the roll crimp tool and placing it inside the uh, eight point pre crimp station of the press and just pressing down the hull. Fold crimps it pretty well, as you'll see in just a second. And there you go. Pretty nice looking crimp. <laughs> 